up, y'all? It's your girl, Chi Chi, a.k.a. Navigo, here on the tube. And today, this video is sponsored by HerGivenHair.com. We are going to talk about the differences between a sew-in and clip-ins. Um, we're going to talk about the pros and the cons. And, you know, hopefully after, you know, me talking about some of the things today, it will help you make a decision based on, you know, some things that I'm just giving you to think about. A lot of people are always confused about what should they buy? Should they get the clip-in? Should they get a sew-in? I mean, they both have their ups and downs, their pros and cons. So, um, in no particular order, I am doing this off the top of my head, so bear with me. I should have wrote notes, but I didn't. Um, but in no particular order, uh, I will talk about the pros and the cons at the same time of, sorry, my ages, of uh, whiffs and sew-ins. So, first of all, so everybody knows that sew-ins are done with um, hair that's on a whiff, on a track. Um, clip-ins, they're still here on a weft, however, they have clips on them, and the clips are what you use to clip to the root of your hair. So that's what makes them different from each other. One of them has clips, one of them doesn't. The one that doesn't, you sew on. The one that does, you just clip into your hair. As far as clip-ins are concerned, um, a lot of people, you know, the trend of clip-ins have been growing, um, in the natural hair community because... You know, you get, at this point, like, you're getting a lot of people that are DIYers. And, you know, the I know this, that's the downside. So the downside to the uh, clip-ins, one downside, is that, you know, it's not a permanent hairstyle. And usually a lot of people can, can do their own hair, but the people that probably can't do their own hair or probably can't sew their own hair in, you know, they're, they will probably opt for clip-ins because they don't have to, you know, look for someone to do their hair. But the downside to that is a lot of times with the clip-ins, you know, you're not getting a fully protected style because a lot of times people are leaving their hair loose in between the clips. Um, for the sew-ins, the downside to that is, yes, you are paying someone to do your hair, so you're coming out of more money. And, you know, with a sew-in, all of your hair is braided up, so that con I mean, that pro for that is the fact that, you know, you're getting more protective styling for your hair. Now, there are people who choose to braid their real hair and then do the clip-ins that way. But, again, it's not a permanent style. So, you know, you're probably left with the burden of having to either take them out every night or, you know, if you sleep in them, they, some of them may get loose or you have, you're having to, you know, retighten them. You know, so it's kind of just a matter of preference, in my opinion, what it is that you choose to do with the clip-ins. Um... Another downside is that, I don't know, if you're out somewhere, if they're not insecure enough, anything can happen. I mean, if somebody can snatch it out your head, you can get caught on something, and you just walk in and just come out your head. I don't know. So is, it's more permanent. But a downside to that is you may get people who don't want the permanent thing for the sewing, so they opt for the clip-ins. Uh, let's see. Oh, another a downside to sew-ins that people complain about is the fact that you know, from the tension, if you get them in too tight, then you could definitely have a loss of hair, edges. Um, when you're taking them down, a lot of times people are doing it themselves. They're cutting their actual hair when they're cut, when they're thinking they're cutting the thread. Um, but then, too, people complain that sometimes the clips, you know, are pretty painful at their scalp. And if you wear clip-ins a lot, where those little combs uh, go into your hair, you could get breakage at your root, you know, just from those combs. So, like I said, they both have their ups and downs, and um, I think that they can be helpful in different ways. Like, you know, with uh, clip-ins, you can definitely change your style around more because, you know, if you're doing the updo, you could, it's probably a little easier to do the updo with your real hair, and then you could just go in and add the clips where you see fit. With the sew-in, you can do an updo, but definitely you would have to have your um, leave-out, enough leave-out out to be able to do a, a updo. Um, but now they have different ways where people are doing the Vicks and sew-ins, so you can't have exposed scalps. So, you know, you're still having to, you're still getting the freedom of being able to do updos with the sew-in. You get people who, um, who would rather, like, as far as cleanliness, cleansing your hair, it's a lot harder to be able to get down to your scalp and, you know, effectively cleanse your scalp with the sew-in because your hair is braided, and then you have to weave on top, and then you're trying to get down to your scalp with clippings. You're able to remove those and get down to your scalp and do and handle your business. So, again, it, it is a matter of preference. For me, I honestly, you know, I prefer sew-ins because 
I don't want to have to deal with my hair. Like, I don't. Like, I don't want to have to get up and clip them in or take them out or whatever it is that I have to do. I would rather just take my uh, scarf off and just roll out. That's me. Um, and then as far as the clippings are concerned, my hair, it's, it's not very, very long at this point since I cut it off. But it's not extremely short either. But I know that I would have to put a ton of clippings in my hair to get the volume that I want. And I don't know if I want to have all those clips in my hair. So, for me, I will opt for a sew-in because, you know, it's, it's to me, it feels flatter. It's, it's more secure. Um, and so, I would rather go for that. And like I said, it's more permanent. Even with detangling the weave, like, it's sewn to my hair, so it's so much easier to detangle versus if I had the clippings in my hair or me having to take the clippings out and hold it and detangle it. I would just rather just have it like it's my hair for a couple of months and treat it like it's my hair and just keep it moving. Um, then the downside to sew-ins, like I said before, you know, you're having to pay someone, for one, you're having to pay for the weave, then you're having to pay someone to install it, so you're coming out of more money when you do get sew-ins. If you get the clip-ins, you know, a lot of times, people can get one bundle, because if they already have a, 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 a nice amount of hair, they're only needing a few tracks just to add some volume, um, a little bit of length if that's what they're looking for. And they don't really have to buy a whole bunch of hair. Depending on how big that is. You got a big old head, you might have to get two or three bundles. I mean, I don't know. But if you have a, a regular size head and a nice length of hair uh, or a nice amount of hair, like density, um, then you may not have to purchase that much. Plus, you're doing it yourself, so you're saving money. I did want to show you guys um, the clip-ins that I have. And this is uh, from Her Giving Hair. This is a bundle of their... Um, coily clip-ins, you also uh, get one, two, three, four, five. You get five um, clips should anything happen to your clip-ins. And this is one bundle of the 16-inch coily hair. You get one long one, two medium lengths, And you get three shorter ones. Oop, I'm dropping stuff. So this is one bundle. Um, like I said, if you leave your hair in between you sh and you have a nice length of hair, you should not have to have more than one bundle unless you have a nice sized head. And also, this is straight out the pack. So once you, you know, co-wash this, detangle it, it's going to get bigger. So um, don't think that it would be too skeet when you put it in your hair. Because, like I said, it will expand. And um, I will be putting this, uh, just kind of showing you how to put the clip-ins, a little piece on my little mannequin head here in a minute. But um, these are their coily clip-ins. And it's, like I said, it's a 16-inch. And see, this is how one bundle looks in my hand. And like I said, it's, it has not been co-washed or detangled, so this is straight out the pack. And like I said, you do get your um, extra clips just in case. And then this has three clips. The short ones have three clips. The long one has one, two, three, four, five. Five clips. And the medium ones have four clips. Medium ones will go at the nape around the bottom where your head goes smaller. The bigger one goes in the middle part where your head is a little bit bigger. And then you have those four pieces that you would just snap in. If you want to use it for a bang piece, you could do that as well. So hopefully I've covered, um, you know, maybe some things that you probably haven't thought about when it comes to deciding what you want as far as clippings and sew-ins are concerned. And hopefully it helped you out a little bit. Um, I know it's not a big, big difference between both of them. But then again, it is a big difference because, I mean, that's it's a big purchase. Um, you know, you want to see if which one you can get the most uh, wear out of. And that's the other thing. Um, as far as sew-ins are concerned, I do feel like, you know, you may they may get more wear and tear than clip-ins would because, you know, it's in your head constantly. So you're constantly rolling around in the bed. You know, you're constantly probably combing it or detangling it more. You know, those types of things. With clip-ins, you know, a lot of people, like I said, they may take them out before they go to sleep at night. 
So they're not getting as much wear and tear as a sew-in would get. So um, that's another thing to think about as far as um, if, you know, you want to be able to wear your hair more. I know that her giving hair lasts a long time. Like the wefts that I got from them that I did my sew-in with, I literally so far have done three sew-ins back to back. I've worn them almost, almost three months a piece. One of them was for three months. And then um, it's still in good shape. I conditioned it. Um, and it's just hanging on hangers ready for me to put back in my head. So, I mean, like I said, I've gotten a lot of wear out of my sew-in. Um, I haven't had a chance to, you know, test out the clip-ins. I predict that it would be a good thing, you know, to try out. And I predict that they'll last just as long because, or even better, because I'm not wearing them every single day. And they're just not an everyday part of my life because they are clip-ins. So, hopefully that's another point. I just thought of that. <laughs> But hopefully that's an, a good point um, to take into consideration as far as wear and tear. But also, I mean, the good thing about the clip-ins is you can get the clip-ins. And down the road, if you want to make those a sew-in, you can definitely use those and sew those in as well. So you kind of get two-in-one if you get the clip-in. So that's another point. Just thought about that too. Anyways, um, like I said, I hope everything helped out. I'm going to go ahead and just uh, clip a little bit. I keep looking at this mannequin head that's right here looking at me staring at me. But um, I'm going to just put some clips in it just so you can see how uh, sturdy the clips are and how, um, you know, good they hold in the hair. Now, I ain't saying don't go out getting freaky frisky, you know, at the club, you know, start stuff getting hard with somebody because, you know, it just might get snatched out. I'm just saying. But they do hold really good. So let me um, do that so you can get an idea of how to put in the clip ins. And how well, you know, they hold in the hair. Be right back. First thing you want to do is you want to open the clips. I've already opened these. And this is what they look like. All right. And then you place it where you want it to go. As close to the root as possible. Now this lady here, her hair kind of silky. So, but still it should work with straight hair too. So you just put it in, make sure you hear the click. Hear that? Start at the top, push it down. Start at the top, push it down. All right. Now I'm pulling pretty good. And it's still in. And this is her hair is really silky too. So imagine when you throw that in a fro, honey. It ain't going nowhere. Unless you decide you want to jump, be froggy and jump at somebody. And, you know, they snatch it out. But, or if you and boo thing get serious, it may come out. So, again, they're pretty secure unless you're really trying to snatch it out. You know what I mean? And these are the 16 inch coily clip ins by her given hair. If you look closely, it looks like it has some type of lace for extra stability. And then these have, uh, you can't, I don't know if you can see, but these have like little rubber things around it to help not break your hair off. So, hopefully that helped, um, y'all. And, um, Definitely stay tuned for more videos, and I'll be back. Bye.